Hi there, I'm Claire Sullivan and I work for Oregon State University as the Small Farms and Specialty Crops Agent for Central Oregon. Today we are out at Windflower Farm in Alfalfa and we're standing in my berry research trial. So this is a project that was funded by Western SARE, the Sustainable Agriculture Research and Education Program. And uh, the trial is part of the Producer Plus Professional Grants Program which means that at this site, I'm hosting the replicated trial, and then I'm collaborating with six producers in the region who are hosting a version of this trial on their farm. So right now we're standing in the raspberry patch. Uh, for this project, I looked at both raspberries and strawberries, and this is a two-year project. These berries were planted in 2019, and now it's August 2020, uh, and I'm gonna share some highlights of what we've seen so far in this second year. So what we have here is four different types of raspberries that are all primocane bearing raspberries. And the four varieties are Joan Jay, Anne, Heritage, and Caroline. And you'll see in front of me, the, the, these are the four varieties growing outside. And then behind me in this high tunnel structure, we have the same varieties growing indoor. And so the purpose of this project is to see how, how they did production and yield and season-wise, both outdoor and indoor. So in terms of what we saw this year, um, if, you, if you can see, one of the biggest things to notice is that outdoor, on the outdoor berries, we actually lost a lot of canes over the winter. And I think that was mainly um, due to early spring frost. So the canes did start coming back um, early spring and everything looked good they were sprouting but then we had quite a few consecutive cold um, nights in May and the shoots were just at the right height that they seemed to have killed them back so we lost a lot of the outdoor plants whereas all of the indoor plants survived so right there we already see that just having the high tunnel structure up even though it just provides you know in the winter a few degrees of buffer it was enough to help those canes survive so the indoor raspberries took off much earlier than the outdoor raspberries it was a jungle in there it was very lush uh, we needed to prune them back quite a bit they seemed very happy um, and we've been picking indoor for not all of the varieties have started producing so joan jay is the earliest producer definitely and we've been picking off Joan Jay for about two weeks now, so early August. And we just started picking off of Heritage and Anne. Caroline seems to be the most vegetative variety, and last year it came on the latest as well. Um, so we're seeing that same trend. Joan Jay did the best last year in terms of yield, and it seems to be leaning that way again. Um, one thing that we had this year, which we didn't have last year, was a, a pretty heavy mite problem in the high tunnel, especially. So a lot of the leaves, we lost quite a few of the leaves on the plants. Uh, those mites just exploded. And it looks like now they're, they're a little more under control. Whereas the outdoor raspberries, I think they were a lot thinner. There was less vegetation. There was only a little bit of mite damage. Um, so that's kind of what we're seeing so far. As I said, it's mid-August. Last year, this is really when raspberries just started mid-August last year, and they were ramping up in mid-September. So we're a little earlier, and we'll see by the end of this year how the different varieties do. Um, by the end of this year, we'll have second year data on yield of the berries, uh, taste, quality, all of those parameters. And if you're interested in results from the first year, please get in touch. I have a first year report I'd be happy to share. So thanks for your time today. And as always, feel free to be in touch with any questions.